Najeon is one of the most representative forms of Korean traditional crafts, known for its exquisite patterns and illuminating beauty. This thousand-year-old traditional heritage is finding itself a part of modern culture. Let's see how this movement began. This is Korea's first Najeon Crafts Museum, opened in Seoul in 2014. With furniture, everyday items, and ornaments, it displays some 300 modern and contemporary pieces of Najeon art created during the Joseon Dynasty and after the Japanese occupation. The museum owns an area of mother-of-pearl pieces that display the cutting technique dating back to the late Joseon Dynasty. Also, it has pieces that were created during the Japanese colonial period, which are lesser known to the public. I believe that that's what distinguishes our collection. Najeon literally means mother of pearl in Korean, and the term refers to a traditional inlaying technique using mother of pearl, the iridescent layer that forms the inside of the shells of mollusks. The museum offers a myriad of Najeon pieces, including those with the ten traditional symbols of longevity, landscape paintings, dragons, and plum flowers, causing audiences to stand in awe of our cultural legacy. The highlight of the exhibition, however, is pebbles. It's a collection of stone-shaped sculptures with lacquered surfaces inlaid with mother-of-pearl. They shine like bright jewelry. The thin slices of mother-of-pearl are pasted onto the curved surfaces of the pebbles, creating an exquisite beauty. This piece stays true to traditional techniques and materials, yet displays a striking influence from contemporary sculpture. Created by Najeon artisan Hwang Samyong, it's his modern take on authentic Korean heritage. This is Hwang's studio in Namyangju, Gyeonggi-do province, where he creates all of his masterpieces. The artisan cuts mother-of-pearl into thin slices, as thin as thread, and then affixes them to the work surface. It's an ancient technique that has long been used to create geometric patterns, text, and depth. The cutting technique refers to cutting mother-of-pearl into desired patterns and then filling the blanks. Also, we have to know exactly what subject will be created in the filling process, like clouds in the sky, waterfalls, or water waves. The 0.4 millimeter thick strips of mother-of-pearl covered a curved pebble. He then adhered the mother-of-pearl to the surface before finally varnishing it with lacquer. The whole process is labor-intensive and time-consuming, as it takes him some 300 hours to just create a small piece. What's more, it can take over a year for a larger project. Pebbles broke the conventional boundaries of Korean traditional Najeon crafts. How did the artist come up with the piece? I combined tradition with modernity for pebbles. In the past, I focused more on traditional wardrobes, stationary chests, dressing tables, jewel boxes, and so on, but I wanted to create a piece of art with a modern twist. Huang's artistry is well appreciated overseas as well. He has created a total of 24 Mother of Pearl pieces to date, and 17 of them have been sold to galleries and collectors in the UK, Switzerland, France, and the US. Mother of Pearl displays its natural color with no artificial process whatsoever. However, it still presents illuminating and iridescent beauty. I believe that's what mesmerizes foreign audiences. Huang dedicated his whole life to Najeon crafts. Sadly, traditional crafts are losing popularity in the present era, with only a few people remaining in the field. That's why he tries to pass down his skills to as many people as possible. Huang loves teaching his skills, especially to young people. He never holds back his knowledge. My dream is to create miniatures of Korea's national treasures like Tabutap and Sokkatap pagodas, Gwangamun and Sungyamun gates. I like to feel the spirit of our ancestors who created beautiful treasures by hand. Huang is trying his utmost for the world to treasure the beauty and excellence of both Najeon crafts and Korean traditional culture. His heartfelt efforts bequeath this wonderful craft art to the world and future generations. Taking the old to make something new, tradition combined with modernity, Najeon crafts have entered a historic new phase with contemporary elements.
They're providing direction for the Korean arts and culture industry to help preserve and develop its heritage.